Hey guys, I'm going to be unboxing the HG Gundam Age Shaldal Custom and if you've maybe seen, I've already re previously reviewed the Shaldal Rogue as well as the GXs from the line which are basically the same kit with a few different parts and things like that but uh, especially the Shaldal Rogue is almost exactly the same as this with just a very few differences the color being one of the main differences of it so anyway, I did get this kit kind of for a very specific reason which you guys will be seeing in a very soon coming episode after this but anyway let's just get in with the unboxing pretty cool box art here I really like just the kind of simplicity of the age box arts and I think kind of arm blood orphans definitely kind of took a little bit of a note from that where they just kind of have it's very simple white on this side with just some information there like the title and then kind of goes into the picture there with just very little background it's kind of mostly just the mobile suit itself really cool colors too as well uh, this is number 18 in the HG age line I like just that kind of simple white and green color scheme it's a really bright green so it definitely has a very unique look to it in terms of the colors there's just the front and back look as well as an action pose there so yeah pretty much just white green and gray for all the frame parts and then just a little bit of blue for the visor so it's got kind of the same thing as the Shaldal Rogue, the beam saber handle just attached onto the backpack. Um, but it just has a different, instead of the kind of cannon arm, this just has an actual sort of smaller beam rifle that it will just hold in its hand. As well as that beam saber, of course. So there's just some artwork there, a little bit about the mobile suits, CG image, and then 1200 yen for the price of this. So 1200 yen seems uh, good. Actually, I, I mean... Like I said, previously reviewed the Shaldal Rogue, and I know this is a really good kit. Pretty much everything I said in that review is going to be exactly the same for this kit. So uh, there's our A runner, I guess, multicolor runner there, polycap stickers, and then some other parts here. That white definitely looks not plain white. That's definitely got a little bit of a greenish tinge to it. Looks like, anyway, it's not pure white, so that's interesting. So here on the uh, menu, we've got the box art there at the top, and then here at the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, only in Japanese, but information about the mobile suit and pilot there. Going into the middle, we've got this big open spread. Just some more information here, some variants about the uh, G exit, uh, the G bouncer, the G axis, and the Genoese Custom. Those three kind of matching mobile suits, uh, and then the shell doll. This is the Shaldal Custom and Shaldal Rogue uh, Genoese 2. And then just again, just more gimmicks, things, uh, details about the kit itself. So our parts list is here. We are going to have a couple of leftover parts we're not going to be using from the A runner, it looks like. Other than that, just some polycaps. Construction is going from the torso to the head to the arms to the arms, to the upper body, to the feet, to the legs, body's done, onto the backpack, onto the color page where we're just building the rifle, the shield, and then just how to mount all this stuff. I think by this time, after I've already pr pretty much already built this kit twice, uh, I could probably build this kit blindfolded. All right, so here's our sticker sheet. Again, very similar to the Shaldal Rogue. Basically some uh, blue stickers there for the different cameras and then some black stickers for just a little bit of lining like on the front skirts, the shoulders, back skirt and then a little bit of uh, that kind of shape there for the back of the legs I believe. SB9 for our clear pink beam effect parts and then PC001 for our gray polycap runner. So here we got runner A, three different colors here, just some standard gray for some joint parts things like that. Uh, that bright green all throughout here and then one part in that light blue color just that specifically for this kit. So you'll notice here on this part, this section of the runner is specifically marked. It says here, uh, Shaldal Kai. So instead of Shaldal, uh, Shaldal, Shaldal Custom, this is Shaldal Kai there in the Japanese. The runner for the, uh, the marking for the made runner here is HG 144 GXS. Runner B, this runner is also marked for the G-axis and it's just some gray parts there, hands, more joint parts, part for the inside of the shield, backpack, parts there and all of that. Runner C, again, is here in white, but it's definitely not pure white. It has a little bit of green in it. I'll have to look here at the manual, let's see. Yeah, if you look here at that white color, it says 100% white, but then it says plus field green and I think that that's just like one drop I think is that what that kanji is saying there so it's like all white then just a tiny drop of field green in there so 
that is exactly what we're seeing it looks like here in the runner as well so it's kind of interesting and the runner d is also kind of interesting it's marked just 1 of 44 age weapon 1 for this rifle so i'm sure this also appeared in maybe some other kits in the series I, i'm not really too sure but i'm sure this is not uh, original for this particular kit all right so that is it for the unboxing like i said nothing really new about this i think i could probably build this kit with my eyes closed uh, but there it is. If you guys were interested in seeing that, I'll have the review coming up for you guys next. In the meantime, you can check out my review of the Shaldal Rogue, since, uh, again, it's pretty much the same kit, but we'll see how they compare in the review, and then I'm looking forward to getting them painted up in a sort of matching or related color scheme. We'll get all to that later. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.